Hi, welcome to today's class. Here we have another nice math challenge before us here. The question is solve for x, the cube root of x to the power of 3 minus 3x to the power of 2 plus 1 equal to x. What is the value of x here? So without much wasting of time, we're going to today's challenge. But this is online math TV. And if you've not subscribed, do it to subscribe. So let's take our challenge here. Solution to our challenge variable. So we have here solution. Okay, so the first thing we do here, let's move this to this side of the equation so that we can deal with this radical. So this is going to give us here the cube root of x to the power of 3 minus 3 x to the power of 2. Okay, this is equal to our x. Let's start with our x minus 1. So at this point, what we do, all we just need to do is to uh, take the cube of both sides to uh, eliminate this radical, okay? So this is going to give us a raised to power 3. Then we call it raise this side to power 3. So this leads with this. So we now have our x to the power of 3 minus 3x to the power of 2. This is equal to. So we want to use the binomial expansion to open up this. So how do we go about this? This is easy. Now, first of all, let's get the coefficient of each of the terms in uh, this uh, problem. So, you have from Pascal triangle, we're going to have here one, then one, one, then here we have one, then two, then one, and here we have one. This plus this will give us three, then here three, this one. So, we are looking at this column here. So, now we have our um, the coefficient to the terms we are to uh, get from this now. So how do we now simplify this? It is easy. Let's just quickly write them out and see what this is going to give us in turn. Now, here, we're going to take the first term, which is x here. It will be x r to the power of 3, right? Good. There times the second term will now be minus 1, and it will be to the power of 0. The plus, the coefficient to the second term is what? 3, bracket. Our x, the power will reduce to what? To um, uh, 2. So we have this to the power of 2. The bracket, our second term, we have here minus 1, out to the power of 1. Okay? The plus, the, the next one is going to be x to the power of what? At 1. But the term here is 3. Sorry, the coefficient is 3 into our x, out to the power of 1. There we have minus 1 out to the power of 2. Then lastly, we're going to have flux, the coefficient is 1. So our x will take the position of the power of 0. Then our minus 1 will take that of the power of 3. Okay, so this is a simple uh, binomial expansion. Okay, if you check the powers for each of the uh, terms, we have 3 because the power we have here is 3. So if you add the two parts together, it must equal to 3. 3 plus 0 will give us 3. 2 plus 1 will give us 3. 1 plus 2 will give us 3. And 0 plus 3 will give us 3. So let's go ahead and open up this. So we have here x to the power of 3 minus 3. x to the power of 2. This is equal to minus 1 to the power of 0 will give us 1. And one time this will give us x to the power of 3. Then here we have minus 1. So minus times plus will give us minus the 3x to the power of 2. We have a 3x to the power of 2. Then here, minus 1 to the power of 2 will give us flux. So everything here will give us flux, our 3x. Then minus 1 to the power of 3 will give us minus 1. And x to the power of 0 will give us 1. So we have here to be minus 1. Easy. So here we have flux x to the power of 3. And here we have plus x to the power of 3. So this and this will leave the system. Minus 3x to the power of 2, minus 3x to the power of 2. Again, this and this will leave the system. So we are now left with 3x minus 1 equal to 0. So we have 3x is equal to 1. Divide through by 3, divide through by 3. Cancel, cancel. So therefore, we now have our x is equal to 1 all over 3. Okay, so this is the value of x that will satisfy this radical equation. But again, 
want to check if this 1 all over 3 will actually satisfy this equation when substituted. So let's substitute and see what this gives us. All right, so let's take our check from here. Let's put this value into this. So we have our original equation, which is a cube root of s to the power of 3 minus 3x to the power of 2. This is equal to, sorry, flux rather. Okay. Flux 1 equal to our x. So this is going to give us um, the cube root of our 1 all over 3 all to the power of 3, then minus 3 into 1 all over uh, 3 all to the power of 2, there, plus our 1 equal to 1 all over 3. Okay, so we're going to have this to be cube root of, we use this to open this, this is going to give us 1 all over 27, then minus, this will give us 3 into 1 all over 9, close bracket, then plus 1 equals to 1 all over 3. We can use this to divide this, so this goes with this, this here will give us 3. So we now have cube root of 1 all over 27, then minus 1 all over 3, plus 1, equals to 1 all over 3. We find the LCM of this and this, so the LCM is just straightforward 3. So this gives us here cube root of our, um, let's take the LCM, 27. So this, this will give us 1. This time, this will give us, they will have um, a positive 1. Then minus 3 into 27 will give us 9. Then 9 times 4 will give us 9. Then flux our 1 equal to 1 all over 3. All right. So if we subtract this from this, this will give us what? Minus 8. So we have here cube root of our minus 8 all over 27 plus 1 equals to 1 all over 3. So let's continue, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, if we rewrite this, this is going to give us here the cube root of minus 8 all of our the cube root of 27 plus 1 equals to 1 all of our 3. So what is the cube root of minus 8? That will give us minus 2. Right? Good. So if we have this to be minus 2 all of our, and the cube root of this is what? It's 3. So plus 1 equals to 1 all of our 3. So the LCM, again, will give us what? Uh, uh, 3. 3 to 3 will give us 1. 1 times this will give us minus 2. The flux, this is all of our invisible 1. 1 into 3 will give us 3 times 3 times 1 will give us 3. Plus to 1 all over 3. Minus 2 plus 3 will give us 1 all over 3, which is equal to 1 all over 3. All right. So this shows that our answer which is x is equal to 1 all over um, 3, satisfy the original equation, the original radical equation. Okay, so if you learn something from this simple challenge, give the video a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed, again, don't wait to subscribe. Because here we release videos all the time for our learning. Thanks for being there all the time. And again, do not forget to keep winning until we meet you in our next class. Bye for now.